Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. As you know, my name is uh, Chaitanya. As I previously have started creating the Aju series, I talk about YouTube, I open it. I give you one more moment. And search my name. To search about my name, please, my YouTube channel. As I have reached with one or one one subscribers, if you go to my playlist, I have started a series like Arjun series previously. So it was completed one year before, like uh, most of the videos are not displayed. So apart from the series continuation, like I was continuing the series now. So according to this series, in today's video, we are going to learn about something called as how to create the Aju Cloud Shell. Aju Cloud Shell. What are the necessary steps? While well, we need to create the Aju Cloud Shell, we need to take care of this. I'm going to display on this video. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my videos. Like I will be posting in English, I will be posting in Telugu as well. So let me open portal.ajo.com. And for this series, I have created one more referee telephone for realizing all this. Okay, still now I have you can see here. I have created some of the resources uh, for your practical purpose. So I'll be discussing each and every practical in the upcoming series. So as of now, uh, you will all know about uh, how to Azure portal use, how the portal works. You are already people aware of it. If you don't aware of it, uh, this is your account details. It will be having the place or most pointer over here. It will be displaying our account details and all these things. This is the settings. If you wanted to change the thing, you can change it. Now, as of now, I'm interested. You can see the notifications. Okay. So, how to check the Azure portal? I mean, Cloud Shell over here. There is an icon here, like like this. We need to press this icon. We need to press this icon. But after pressing on this, you can see here, I'm getting the prompt here like this. Welcome to Cloud Shell. Or you wanted to select your Bash or Shell. We need to select Bash or PowerShell. Any of these things we need to be selected over here. Okay. So if you are a fresher, if you are a working experience, it's up to you. But if you are a fresher, I recommend you to go for Bash. If you are experienced people, I recommend you people to go with PowerShell. Okay, it's up to you whether you wanted to choose PowerShell or Bash, it's up to you. So I'm preferring here Bash first option. You can change it to, later also you can change it to PowerShell as well. It's up to you. If I'm clicking on Bash, you can see here, select a subscription to get started. You can optionally mount a storage account to persist files between sessions. That means, if I'm opening the cloud shell over here one more time, now I have opening this. So it's asking us to mount the storage account or no storage account is required. Suppose, for now, I have created a Azure cloud shell here. So for suppose, if I create the cloud shell over here, there are two options are there. Two options are there. What are those in the sense? One, if I create a session first now, session, okay, whatever the files, whatever the files and directories, directories or anything else or anything else, whatever the changes you have done, anything changes, is everything has to be recorded. Everything has to be recorded. That means everything will be, has to be saved. Whenever you're opening the, again, this Power Cloud Shell, your file should be displayed over there. Your file should be, our directory should be available over there. 
That means in shortcut in terminology, we are calling it as persistent. Persistent storage. Okay. It has to be saved in the sense we need to be create the storage account. If not, if not, the session without storage account, without storage account, we having this kind of options over here. That means your files and directories which are going to create, the files and directories which are going to create, files and directories which are going to create and any changes you are performing, it will not be persistent. Has not to be has not to be recorded over here. It means not save. Inpersistent. We're calling it as inpersistent storage. So these are the options we are having it. Now I recommend to you people I'm using Freetail. After Freetail, I will be uh, upgrading this subscription into Payaji Group. So in these cases, I will be upgrading it. So it will work for me. Uh, if I upgrade it also, there will be creation of storage account. Everything will be there over here. So it will create one storage account. I'm recommending this option to go with it. Creating one storage account. After that, the next step will be mounting to the file share, mounting the session, mounting the session into the file share, mounting the session into the file share. Okay, let's do the process now. No storage account required. I require the storage account because the file should be persistent here. So that's the reason I'm selecting this mount, uh, mount any storage account. Select your subscription here. Select your subscription. I'm having a free trial. I'm selecting this free trial and use an existing virtual network. I'm not going with that. Uh, just click on apply. So there are having a three options here. Select existing storage account. If you have created already storage account, you can use that one. Otherwise, Azure itself will create a storage account or otherwise you wanted to create a new storage account. Firstly, previous accounts are there. If you have to select this option, otherwise you don't need to select it. We will create a storage account for you. That means Azure itself will create a storage account. I recommend to you go with the second option. Don't with go, don't go with third option. If it doesn't have any idea what to be created in the storage account. So just go for this one, second option. If you already know about it, you can go for third option as well. Okay. It's up to you. It's up to you. So I'm going for second option. I recommend the second option here. Clicking on next. So deployment in progress, you can see here free trial resource group. It's creating the new resource group here. Cloud Shell Storage Central India this is the resource group it's going to create and storage account CSG Cloud Shell group or something like that and one ID created and one file share is also been mapping here. What is the file share? I'll be explaining this about concept in our storage accounts, storage account practicals. And you can see here this was deploying in the Central India. So because my uh, region, I'm all I mean, I'm nearly located to the Central India location, so. This is my region over here. So that's what it was selecting here. Okay. So requesting a cloud shell succeeded connecting terminal. So it's almost succeeded over here. It's almost succeeded over here. It's almost going to be succeeded. You can see here, there is a drag option here. to we'll drag it above like this. Okay. You can see here, welcome to the Azure Cloud Shell. And if I go to one more page, uh, like portal.azure.com, type it. If you click on the resource groups, you click on the resource groups, you can see here, Cloud Shell Storage Central India. If I click on this, it has the storage account has been created. If you expand to something called as settings or cost management or deployment, yeah, let me click on the storage account. If you expand the data storage over here in the storage account, click on containers, 
nothing will be displayed. We click on file shares. You can see here, piece one of the file storage has been created. File share. You can see six GB is the persistent storage for our, it has been created by background link. Okay. Whatever the files, whatever the files we are going to create under the cloud shell, it's going to uh, be under under 6 GB. Okay. Like this, how it will be having it. So for our practical now, for continuation of this, uh, you can see here, uh, here we having an option here. You can see the options, switch to PowerShell, restart the session if you wanted to files upload the files and download the files you're having this first and news uh if you want some new session if this session is becoming some inactiveness inactive format you can go for this one and you can switch on editor as well like code editor a preview and settings like this we are having the options here like this how we having the options okay if i click on switch to powershell it's asking you to confirm confirm it was requesting to the cloud shell and it was showing as PowerShell session here. So whenever you are clicking on this respective icon, like cloud shell, it's going to by default create the bash shell to me, showing me a bash shell over here. Okay. First time creating, right? So that's the reason it was taking the time here. Taking time. Meanwhile, what I will do is you can see here the PowerShell session has been come here. If I type PowerShell PS version table is one of the command. Meanwhile, clicking on settings, I'm expanding the font size here. You can select any of the font size or uh, text size. I'm putting it as large. Okay. After typing this, 7.4.5 is the PowerShell session. Okay. Now, if you want, you can expand it like this, or otherwise maximize or maximize the screen like this. Okay. If it doesn't want, you can restore it like this. Is one more shortcut which I want to tell you. Okay, it doesn't want it to work with the like portal screen. The background only want doesn't want to see the portal screen. You just click on this maximize, it will show it like this. Otherwise, there is one more website will have in let's shell.azure.com. Shell.azure.com. If you type this, it will maximize the screen. It will come to the session here for you. Okay. Is it getting clear? I hope. Okay. Like this, how it will come here. If you type LS, I don't have it. CD, I mean, Cloud Drive, LS iPhone L, Cloud Drive, and Microsoft. CD, let's go to the Microsoft and type LS, Windows, CD, Windows, LS, PowerShell. Okay. Like this, how the PowerShell session will be pointed that PowerShell and Cloud Drive. LS, then we come to the PWD slash home slash Chaitanya. It is the session it will create for us. Okay. Now, for our practical last of now, continuation, what I will do is I have created, I have created some script here, some script. So what this script will do in the sense, it will create the resource group. It will create the virtual network and subnet. It will create the SNC and NSG rules, and it's going to create the virtual mission as well. Okay. How to deploy this into cloud shell? In later point of few sessions, I'll be explaining the script here, how to generate the script, how, can, how the script will works. I'll be explaining uh, all these things in the upcoming tutorials. So for now, what I will do is, I'll create a CD cloud drive. So in this cloud drive only, I'm going to create the files over here. So 
I'm going to give it as Nano is one of the editor and I'm giving it as my infra, my infra dot sh, my infra dot sh. If I click on this, it will open the editor to me. And then whatever the copy that I have done, if I right click on my mouse, I have an option called as paste. If I, if I click on this, it will paste here. So instead of it, if I press shift insert, shift insert is a shortcut to whatever the copy, whatever the copy content you have done, should be pasted over here. Press shift insert, it will be pasted over here. After entering it, press control X and click on Y on the keyboard. We'll save the content and then file name to write my info.sh. Yes, click on enter. So it will be saved. Just for confirmation, you can check here. The script is there. So now I wanted to execute this script. I'm just simply sh or patch command you can use. And then uh, before that, ls l You can see here. You can see. Okay. Now just type my infra.sh or otherwise just type like it like it or otherwise something called as uh sh or bash command sh or bash command you can use so i'm using sh or otherwise bash anything i'm just directly executing my infra.sh if i executing it if i executing it just observe creating the azure resource group creating the azure virtual network and subnet And then after creation of virtual network and subnet, it's going to create a NSGs, NSG one, and then the rule, NSG, and then it's going to create the uh, thing. Meanwhile, what I will do is I will go to the resource groups here. If I click on refresh, we're going to see about my name, like Madan RG. Okay, you can see here. If I check here, creating the Azure virtual machine, as of now it was showing in the portal two resources here. Okay, if I click on refresh, still it was showing like that. You can see here the virtual machine has been created. If I press Okay, if I click on refresh, you can see six resources have been there into this resource group. I'll be explaining about virtual missions. I'll be explaining about virtual networking, I mean, VNet and also storages. Everything I'll be explaining in the practical sessions, in upcoming sessions. Okay. So if I wanted to continue, if I wanted to, if I wanted to log into this virtual mission, if I type SSH, Madan at the date of the username which I have mentioned in the script is like this the username and the password like this and the password like this just copying this password okay oh before that let me put the public IP address copy copy and then shift insert click on enter Yes, and then provide the password. Paste. Click on enter. It has been connected to the virtual machine. Sudo apt update and sudo apt install nginx iPhone 1. I'm deploying static website. I'm not, I mean, I'm just deploying Nginx here. In the later point of time, later practicals, I will talk about how to deploy a static website, how to deploy custom websites, how to deploy dynamic websites. I'll be showing on the upcoming practicals. Meanwhile, if I click on virtual mission, just check here, we'll be getting the public IP address. Just grab it and then control V. Let's check. 
click on continue to decide. We have deployed Nginx successfully. Nginx has been successfully deployed. Okay. So that's it for this today's practical in this today's video. So I'll be explaining more and more practicals in coming to the new practical sessions uh, by daily or by week. Minimum three to four videos will be uploading into this module series. So that's all for this today's session. I hope you liked it. If, uh, if you have any queries, if you want any doubts, please comment in the section. So we'll have a discussion on it. Thank you.